Hey, Legend fans, Jesse back here. I'm joined by Mike Rossi. He is a product specialist with not only Hummingbird Electronics, that's your, you know, your, your fish finders, your graph, your GPS systems. He's also a product specialist on the Minn Kota products that we carry here at Legend Boats. Um, you'll find these products available to you in most of the models that we offer. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to sit with Mike, learn a little bit more about uh, some of the offerings that we have here at Legend Boats and what makes um, both Hummingbird and Minn Kota such a great product offering and might be the right choice for you. So thanks for uh, joining us, uh, Mike. Thanks for having me. First and foremost, again, I just want to thank you guys for the partnership. Um, both fantastic, amazing brands that you represent and uh, absolutely uh, one of the premier choices that we have here at Legend Boats. Um, love to hear it from you though. Why, sh why, uh, why Hummingbird? Why, if I'm looking for a new boat, should Hummingbird be at the top of my list as a, as an electronics option? Several reasons. Um, so, you know, the first thing I always think back to is when I first started with Hummingbird and, uh, I was asked, you know, have, do you have much electronics experience? And I didn't, and it was with a different brand and they said, good, because you have a much easier time using Perfect. Hummingbird, right? So, okay. um, and, it, and it's very true. So ease of use is one of the biggest things, right? Okay. Every screen on a Hummingbird has an express menu. It allows you to get into your settings for that screen really easily, right? Sure. Um, things like that. And then going to another level, you could talk about connectivity, right? So one boat network, iPilot link. These are three product brands, Hummingbird, Mikoda, Canon, that all are in the same family and everything's designed that way to talk to each other either through wired or wireless connectivity, right? So. Yeah, and that, that tends to be the big push and what everybody's trying to look for in a boat is just something that makes it easy. Can everything work together? Is it compatible? Does it network? And I think that's one of the main benefits that, that uh, you guys uh, offer. Um, talk to me about that one boat network and yep. what that means. Yeah, so, so the way it works is, is you know, Hummingbird, Hummingbird Minn Kota Cannon, they all have wireless and they have wired products, right? So if I have a Canon Optimum, I can, I can pair that through Bluetooth, right? And I can control my downrigger from a tablet, okay. from a phone. Um, if I have a Raptor, I ha there's an app for that. I can, I can connect that wirelessly with my phone as well. I can connect it to my Bluetooth Hummingbird, right? And I can deploy it from my Hummingbird. Right? Or, or, or the unit right at my helm as well. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. For, and if you have multiple units in your, in your network, you can sure. deploy it from the front, from the back. There's remotes. Um, and then, you know, also to add on to that, you know, if you have a Minn Kota motor with iPilot Link, you know, I can control that motor from my Hummingbird, right? So I can turn my prop on or off. I can steer it left or right. right. Um, if I have an Altera model, I can deploy the motor when I come up to a spot and be fishing that much faster, right? So, so how, how do I know if I should be looking at something uh, with Link or not? Who, who's the, the right boat owner that needs a Link and who's the guy who doesn't need a Link? You know, I don't think there, I wouldn't really uh, say there's anybody who doesn't need it. It's just, you know, I always say it's as, as easy or as complicated as you want to make it. Right. And when I say complicated, it's not because it's very simple and everything works, right? Yeah. Um, you know, but iPilot on its own, it's it's GPS built into the motor, right? So when I hit that anchor button, yeah, right it's going to keep me where I am, right? Mm -hmm. Within three feet. Um, those are all features of iPilot. That's a feature of iPilot. Uh, autopilot, if I want to run a straight course, a straight heading, that's iPilot. Um, you know, I can record a path up to two miles long. Right. That's iPod. Go back and do that same path over again. Exactly. Amazing. iPilot Link has all those features as well, okay. but now I can use them from my Humminbird, right? So I can, right. I can turn my prop on and off from my Humminbird. So I can be sitting at the helm of my boat, yep. controlling that on the tracks from yep. there without even getting anywhere near the, exactly. in exactly. that unit or using yeah. handheld or foot pedal or any That's of the it. above. If I have Lake Master mapping or if I've made okay. Um, a map of my own with Auto Chart Live, I yep. can choose a depth contour and follow that contour, right? The motor will steer you on that contour till the contour ends or changes. So where like uh, where does this these features really start? You know, you'll find in our, our XTR series, uh, our F series, our X series, and we'll start with a standard Helix 5 unit. Um, oftentimes we'll see customers upgrading and do the Helix 7 as a pretty popular accessory. A few of our packages now coming with that Helix 7. Um, where can I get some of these options at? What units do they start in? So that's a great question. So um, actually one of the great things I mentioned Auto Chart Live, that goes down all the way to our Helix 5 with GPS, right? Okay. So I could have a five inch screen for a very, very reasonable price and I can make my own map. If I'm on a lake that has no mapping on any other brand. I can create a map just by turning Auto Chart Live on wow. and driving up and down, kind of in a zigzag pattern. Yeah. You'll start seeing depths and contours pop up, okay. and I can, I can keep that map. I can share it with right. the world. I can right. put it in my friend's unit. Um, you can do whatever you want, right? Cool. Um, and then you know when you talk about networking, you know Helix Seven has two families: networking, non-networking, right? Okay. So 
if I'm just, you know, I want a bigger screen because I can't see as well anymore, yeah. seven's a great option. Without right? the without the link option. Yeah, without right. networking, right? But if in the future I might want to add an iPilot link motor or I might want to add a, a, a unit to the front of the boat, mm -hmm. I can add that through Ethernet with a networking Helix 7. Cool. So I need to be into a Helix 7 right. as the minimum size to be able to get into a link unit. Yeah, uh, Helix 7 networking. So Helix 7 yeah, networking. Yeah. Okay, Anything no, with, nothing with, in five. That's correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect, easy to understand. Um, talk to me maybe about the difference between some of the trolling motor lines under the Minn Kota uh, umbrella. We've got you know a, a diverse offering. Um, you're seeing power drive offered on some of our packages. You're seeing Tarovas, um, and then of course the, that beautiful big Altera with the, the auto deploy. Um, what's the the good, the bad, the ugly, kind of through that whole mix, and, and who are some of these motors right for? Definitely, um, power drive Tarova, uh, those are two staples for Minkota, right? Um, and for a long time, we always sold the most of power drive, but now it's actually kind of Tarova is, is the more, I'd say the, the higher volume motor for, okay. for sales, so. What's the main benefit, what is the, the reason for upgrading from a power drive to that Tarova? Yeah, one of the, a couple of reasons actually, so, you know, power drives are entry level uh, electric steer motor, so you can get it either in an iPilot motor, so GPS, okay. or a non iPilot motor. Okay. Um, when you get it with an iPilot option, you don't get a foot pedal, and you can never install a foot pedal, okay. so it's remote control only, right? Okay. Um, which is great for a lot of people because they don't use a foot pedal anyway, they're trolling right. or whatever, right? Um, but you can never add a pedal if you choose to. So when right. you go to Tarova, right. you get a pedal included with it, okay. um, you can choose to use it or not. But one of the other things is, is it has something called lift assist, right? So there's a metal strip running down the shaft okay. into a housing and it's coiled up inside that housing, kind of like a tape measure. Yeah. So when you actually go to pull the motor up from the front of the boat to stow it, it acts almost like a like a lift, like a a lift assist, okay. right? Yeah. So a little so easier to, to stow and deploy. Much easier to stow and deploy. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, power drive isn't available at all with iPilot Link. Okay. Uh, it used to be, it's not any longer, but uh, Tarova is kind of your starting price point where you can get into a Link motor. Okay. So that would be one other reason somebody would jump from power drive to turn So Mike, maybe talk to me a, a little bit more about the, the, the advancement in technology. Maybe where do you see things coming? What are some of the things that you're excited about that you get to touch, feel, and play with every single day with either Hummingbird or Minn Kota? Definitely. Um, yeah, so for, forward facing sonar has definitely been the thing, you know, for you know the people who are, are taking it to the next level. Um, so it's a transducer that sees forward, sees down, and sees in a bird's eye view called landscape mode. Yeah. Um, so now this is now real time sonar, right? So now I'm seeing fish swim up at my bait. Right. And my bait is there's no delay when I lift my bait up. I can see it on the screen. Um, you can really learn a lot from it. It's changing the way people fish, right? Because yeah. they're seeing fish that they didn't know were, were there before. And uh, you know the fish aren't reacting to the bases like they normally would right. expect. Right. So, so now that they can see that, they're really learning from it. So Mega Live has been, uh, you know, a game changer for, for a lot of people. And now we have Mega Live Target Lock, which also allows you to steer the transducer independent of the trolling motor, right? Crazy. With all Trex motors. So that's Crazy. that's been a huge jump for sure. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe talk to me a little bit about those those Alteras. You know, everybody's always referencing yeah. that that commercial and somebody launching their boat and putting it out there. Sure. Um, how excited are you about those? Who's that motor right for? Maybe who's it not right for? Or where some of the challenges can be on owning that? It's funny you say that. It, it's not really, and you know, um, you know, when it first came out, it was kind of like, oh, you know, you've got one of those fancy motors. We yeah, yeah. stone deploy, but we talked to people in the booth that, you know, hey, my dad's older, he's got a bad back. It's right. harder for him to stow a motor up at the front, especially sure. if it's windy or wavy. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it's not just your, uh, you know, it is our top of line motor, but it's, yeah. it's for everybody really. Correct. And so what I'm talking about is Altera and what that uh, motor does, it has auto stow and deploy. So uh, two hits of the button on the remote or on the foot pedal, and that motor will actually deploy on its own. Um, and then saying you hit the button to stow it, it'll come right back up. So yeah. Also a little bit of weight I find uh, myself. If you're somebody who wants to be consistently taking that on and off, sure. uh, maybe that family fishing boater, is it much heavier than a Tarova? So it's, it, I would say it would be slightly, a little bit yeah, heavier. It, okay. It's certainly the body is wider. So okay. uh, then you get into uh, quick release brackets, which right. is a mounting plate. So a, a quick release bracket allows you to easily take off your trolling motor if you're leaving it at the cottage. Um, or you're, you know, leave it at a gas station or in a parking lot. And you're worried somebody, you know, about theft and stuff like that. Um, it is a little bit heavier, but um, you know, I think the the, uh, the benefits kind of weigh out the, you know, the weight, maybe the weight difference. But sure. um, you know, definitely, uh, definitely something that when people see it, right. and it, if it somewhat fits their, yeah, how they fish, they they don't care how yeah. heavy it is. They're buying. Um, so. You know, maybe in in general. Uh, 
terms or general ranges, how much more in dollars are we looking at for, your, for, for an Altera versus like a Tarova, 80 pound thrust Tarova versus I want to go to that Altera model? What's kind of that range of an upgrade? Uh, I mean, I, I, I hate quoting things without looking at the price list, yeah, but I'm roughly, a, I'm roughly. A rough, I'd probably say uh, in the thousand dollar range, maybe okay. close to. Sure. Uh, maybe not too much over, but uh, okay. depending on the, the pounds of thrust that you choose, so 80 or 112 pounds of thrust, and then also yeah. the shaft length, right? So Altera is available in a 45, a 60, or a 72 inch shaft, okay. right? So the price goes up also when there you go up there. to the... Yeah. Perfect, that's great to know. Um, yeah, I, I think what I'm most excited about is when we come back with Mike, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the most popular features and some of the, the benefits to some of those units that we just spoke about over at the Hummingbird and Minn Kota booth. It is not uncommon for us here at Legend Boats to have um, our customers spending you know, half as much as the boat on their electronics now, if not more. Um, so it is, a, it is a very personalized approach. Uh, we're happy to be partnered with them and have a variety of options for our customers. And we're happy to have a good partner that can walk us through, uh, through those specialties and make sure that we're focused on getting you into the right boat. And these folks help us make sure you're getting into the right electronics um, or, or your, your bow mount trolling motor as well. Joined back with Mike here, live in the Minn Kota and Hummingbird booth. Thought we'd take a couple of minutes and have Mike walk us through some of the features, uh, advantages and benefits of two of our most popular offerings in the Legend lineup with this Helix 5 and Helix 7 that you see here in the Hummingbird lineup. For sure, so we'll start with the Helix 5. So like I mentioned before, AutoTurt Live is a program that's built into all of our units all the way down to Helix 5, uh, as long as it has GPS. Um, so I could literally go to my mapping screen and I can turn on Auto Chart Live simply by hitting the menu button once because that's an express screen, going down to Auto Chart, turning record to on. Start, you, once you do that, you can start driving up and down your lake and you'll start seeing the cartography actually pop up on the screen. Wow. Contour lines and depths, right? Um, so you can essentially build your own map, right? So that goes all the way down to the Helix 5, continues all the way up to our Apex 19. Cool. Um, Talking about a Helix 7, uh, you're obviously jumping into a bigger screen. Everything's much more easier to see. Um, this particular unit here is our new Helix 7 Chirp side imaging unit. Um, probably the biggest benefit is for somebody who may not have wanted to pay a premium price for side imaging. Um, it's actually our second ge generation technology, but it now has Chirp, right? So the imaging is, is really, really good. Yeah. Um, and for less than $1,000, you can get into a unit like this, right? Wow. Um, and even if you wanted something like this with mapping, uh, for less than $100, you could add on that option as well. Mike, who is, uh, who is down imaging better for? Who is side imaging better for? Maybe talk us through the side imaging units that have both of those features. Definitely, well, traditionally, your sonar, right? It, it shows you what's right, right in the cone, right? Right in the beam, and it's cone shape. So, you know, what you see there, you know, you're going to differentiate everything by color, you know, um, harder objects or larger ob objects are going to show up in red. And, um, but sometimes you won't know what you're looking at. So here I can see that there's something on top of this hump. But when I look at a down imaging screen, I can see that it looks like there's rocks piled up on here, right? Mm -hmm. So down imaging takes thin slices of sonar and builds up an image, okay. gives you a more realistic um, um, image of, of what you're looking at, right? right? So. People like down imaging because it's the same perspective as uh, traditional sonar. Side imaging is the same idea, except now the beam goes out the right and the left. So now you have a bird's eye view of the bottom. So I could literally go to my side imaging screen. And here's your boat. Everything here is behind you. The water column is here. This is left and right. And I can actually go out to, depending on the model, some of them up to 200 feet. Um, per side, right? Oh, wow. So up to 400 feet of coverage. So now I'm looking for structure, right? So to answer your question, Jesse, um, you know, if you're gonna spend the time to look for structure, even if there's no fish there at the time, at some point there's gonna be, so. It's good to know for, could, for future yeah, reference even. Definitely. Right, and any, 
unit that's got SI, so side image unit, will automatically have down imaging in it as well. Exactly, down imaging and sonar. Okay. Yep. But a DI is only going to be down imaging. Down imaging and sonar, yeah, yep. exactly. And who wouldn't need side imaging? Is it just more of a, a, of a premium price that I'm paying to get both of those? Or somebody says, you know what, I'm a vertical fishing guy, I'm a trolling, I'm a walleye guy, yep. it's not important to me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, some, some people who might already know their lake really well, um, or aren't going to venture off into new lakes and stuff like that. But, you know, if it's a new lake that you're on, side imaging, if you put the time into it, um, I'd say if you're a person who's going to put the time into it, it's definitely worth it. Um, I don't think many anglers that are going to new lakes would be without it, right, at this right. point. So. Okay. And what do we got looking to us next here? These are the great units. These are the wish list units if yep. I want to get even a little larger. Yep. Most of our legends would probably take up to an eight or a nine inch we can make work with the, the option of some ram mounts that we have. Um, what are our main advantages or reasons for going one size up even from this big nice unit? Definitely, so um, so compatibility is one thing. So we have additional accessories um, like Mega 360, uh, Mega Live Imaging, okay. that uh, this is pretty much the starting point for some of those accessories. Okay. Um, um, not all of them, but some of them, right? So Mega 360, that would be a starting point compatibility for, for, for uh, to make it work. So. The other thing that you would get in a Helix 8 that you wouldn't in a, in a Helix 7 is Mega Down Imaging Plus. So although Helix 7 is available in Mega Down Imaging, Plus actually extends a range. So I was talking before about how far out you can see. So right. Plus would definitely be the, the most range that you'll get. Okay. And that's 200 feet per side for down imaging, or for side imaging, sorry. And then all, obviously when you go up to a 9, bigger screen, right? Okay. Um, things like that, and it continues on and on. But same same functionality for the most part in an eight yep. and nine, just a little larger. Yep, a little larger transducers, the, the actual frequency going out is the same. So. Fantastic. Yeah. That was great info on the graph side of things. Let's uh, jump over to the Minn Kotas and uh, learn a little bit more from Mike on uh, some of the units. Joined now by Mike, uh, he's gonna walk us through a couple of the Minn Kotas that we have here on display. Uh, we talked about that power drive that's an option on several of our units, um, but we have also are standing beside that beautiful Tarova, very popular unit here at Legend Boats, and of course, that beautiful Altera that we spoke about earlier as well. So Mike, maybe walk us through a couple of the features of these two beautiful units. Definitely. So Tarova, like I was mentioning before, um, it's a step up from power drive, so if you buy it, when you buy it with iPilot, it'll come with um, both a foot pedal and a remote. Right. Um, and then you also have the option of getting it with iPilot, which will ship with this remote here, okay. or iPilot Link, which is a color touchscreen remote, right? So a couple different options there. Um, and besides all of the you know, tracking, using the contours, the shoals, Talk to me about that, that anchor option, that spot lock is what I absolutely love in those units. For sure, and yeah, that's what, you know, majority of people who buy our, our iPilot mo motors are looking for that feature, obviously, for, for anchoring, right? So iPilot is GPS built into the motor. It'll keep you within three feet of, uh, of where you hit that anchor button, right? So you have the option to hit that anchor button on the remote from the foot pedal, or if you have one of our phone apps, you can also anchor from there, so. Amazing. Yeah. And the beautiful Altera. Yes, sir. So yeah, so Altera, um, like I mentioned before, it's the only motor we have that is, uh, has automatic stow and deploy, right? So I can essentially you know, pull up to a spot. If I have an iPilot link motor, we haven't got there yet, but if I have an iPilot link motor, I can actually steer the motor from, straight from the menu, or I can, stow the, I can actually stow the motor. So I'll show you here how that would work. I would just go to my onboard menu by tapping the power button and going down to stow Altera, hit the right arrow, Crazy. and that's it. Wow. Yeah, so. What, what pound of thrust is the starting in the Altera? Range? So Altera uh, starts at 80 pounds, okay. and, and uh, you have the option of 112 pounds if you have a larger boat, heavier sure. boat. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely, we're seeing more and more of our customers adding this option um, onto their units, it's, uh, it's quite the wild machine. And when you see it up close and in person and see that functionality, you can certainly see um, why. Uh, I want to thank Mike for the partnership that we have with uh, Minn Kota and Hummingbird. Definitely thank him for the walkthrough uh, today. He's definitely shown us some reasons on why you have less excuses to not catch more fish out on the water and create some memories in your legend boat. So thanks, uh, thanks Mike, for joining us. Thank you, that was great. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you.